Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys. If you're new, my name is Grace and in today's video I'm going to take you on a day on the life at Carf University and also tell you some things I wish I knew before studying engineering. I've been meaning to film this video genuinely for about two and a half months and I just kept putting it off. It's my own fault. I went away, you've kind of seen my Disneyland Paris vlogs. I had the most incredible time with my family. Obviously I've been competing with uni at Bucks and yeah, it's been a really busy term. I think they're always busy, I always say that. But no, I've been from this video for ages, so I'm finally doing it, trying to get back on a little bit of university content for you guys so yeah it's friday morning it's a beautiful day in cardiff we've had a really nice week of weather cardiff half marathon is this sunday so i can't wait to go watch my dad's running very excited so this morning i've got a gym session at cardiff met at the track where i train then i've got a lecture for my environmental engineering module which is a single semester module or side since february at i think two o'clock and then I need to do some uni work, but it's really nice weather, so I'm like, I kind of want to go outside and not do any work, but it's engineering, I can't really do that. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you inside. weight session today just taking over yeah it's the last week of the block so just doing what we need to do but I my first thing about what I wish you knew for studying engineering is that it's a lot of work when I say a lot of work I mean a lot a lot of work you know you need step from school inevitably but civil engineering or any engineering course I'm assuming it's just volume plus the hardness of the work is just it just stacks up loads. Obviously first year is a bit easier, but this year has been really tough. So something which I knew, I knew it was going to be hard work. I knew I had to put a lot of hours in, but honestly, here we go. So since December, I wrote this down. So between December and February, I had two exams, three tests, one essay deadline, one group report deadline, one presentation, two computing design programmings, two reflective reports, two design shorts, which is like a little design challenge, two labs and lab reports and one long lab report. So my December to February was insanely busy, but I got through it. We're now in March, obviously exams happening soon, or some more course with deadlines coming up, but it's just the way it is. So, you know, if I could tell myself two years ago, Grace, you know it's gonna be hard work, cause you know that right now, but it is a lot of work, bro. I wish I knew that. So yeah, look, I'm gonna go this little diagram up. This is from like November to just past January of my modules and everything I had to do and all the dates, it was constant. Yeah, right, I'm back from training now. I'm gonna shower, do some work at home. I need to finish watching a maths lecture and so looking at my environmental engineering coursework. And then I think Sophie and I, my course mate who lives down the road from me, we are going to the library to watch the lecture. Turns out it's online, so we're gonna log on to Zoom. Good old Zoom, what a throwback to last year. And then we might head to Butte Park. It's a beautiful day outside just to get a bit of fresh air. Yeah, a little update. Got chicken couscous salad for lunch, very excited. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. So, done a bit of maths, didn't really do loads, but that's fine. I've got some really funky lines going on because my blinds are closed because we're about to go to the library with Sophie and then off to the park for a bit. Full on summer mode in March, which we all love. But my next point I was gonna say for things I wish I knew for studying engineering is MacBooks aren't really a vibe when it comes to engineering computer software. I had my Mac before I had any idea what I was doing. Let me sit down and sit down these lines on my face. But in terms of different programming softwares, it's really worth having a look at what programmers you might need, if your laptop's compatible. I had to invest in a Windows laptop to allow me to use some of the softwares like MATLAB and AutoCAD and the Autodesk softwares. 
But yeah, that's one thing I wish I knew. And as a student mentor, I've been telling the first years to like make sure that the laptops work with the certain programming softwares because they need it. First year of second year at Cardiff. As well as obviously imagine across the UK, it's the same thing. So, so yeah, that was a big one that wish I knew. Definitely 100%. It's a beauty park. I love how pretty it is the sun. Look at this tree behind us. I think you can see because I've got my sunglasses on. We had a quick pit stop to Lidl to get a few snacks. It's a really beautiful day. We finished our lecture. <laughs> Sorry, I'm with Sophie. <laughs> and yeah, we're just gonna chill for a little bit. Whoa, I'm glowing in the sun. Yeah, chill for a little bit, a bit of a catch up, eat our food right. and yeah, maybe give another little what I want to know at university in a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go first before Sophie goes. One thing I wish I knew before studying engineering is concrete is your best friend. <laughs> you can't really agree with that, can you? Oh man, we need so much concrete. Well, in principle, you'll do loads of things you might not like. It's such a broad subject area. Civil engineering is huge, and obviously in your three or four year degree, they can only fit in certain aspects of each one. So concrete is a very like underlying principle for a lot of things so a lot of concrete is coming your way if you're doing civil engineering but you know you have to do things you don't like things you love things you mm, hit and miss lots of maths but yeah this is part of the process should go with it we are currently in the middle of doing a, like a big structural design project we have to design a hotel by design i mean design the concrete and steel beams columns floor slabs foundations what else? Yeah, no, someone said to me, because we were talking about the design, they were like, so you get to, because yours got like a spar in it, and I was like, honestly, you don't do any of that. It's literally, you get a number, which takes We get into numbers, account, yeah. <laughs> That's the architect's job. We have to do the actual structural stuff. So yeah, we're doing that. It's a lot of work at the moment, but yeah. welcome to our degree. <laughs> Woo! Right, anything you wish you knew? I'm going to bring us a bit closer. Put you by there. Or anything in hindsight, like you wish you did last year, or didn't do? I suppose a lot of it is quite independent. Like, yeah. obviously you have your lectures, but I'd say about 70% of it is more independent. It's just kind of knowing what you need to do when. I remember last year, it's the whole, you don't, you're in a situation where you don't know anything and they overload you with information and it's being able to pick what you need, pick what you need to actually learn, revise and not panic. It's not a panicking thing. Like, <laughs> I remember last year with this massive module on like, deals and construction and it was just like overload with the amount of information about like, materials and construction. So... Yeah, I'm trying to work out what you need to know and when. <laughs> I don't know, one thing I'm dreading is the in-person exams. Yeah, we found mm. out this week we have in-person exams. Mm. <laughs> Which is a little bit stressful, but we'll be fine. So was a really smart, and a really good hard worker. <laughs> um, <no. laughs> yeah, we're meant to be studying right now and... What? It's sitting in Butte Park, but it's a Friday, so we're allowed to do that. Well, I was meant to wrap up the vlog in the park. Forgot. Oopsie daisy. And it's actually been about two months now. A video is out of order. My silver stone one has been posted, but this was back in spring. Exams are done. They were very hard. I do need to do a big update video soon. I promise you I will do it. Yeah, exams are tough, but we're through. I passed second year. I've got a placement now for my placement year next year. So all is well, all is good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a few tips I just thought of that I wish I knew. Honestly, it's been a roller coaster for two years so far. More to come, we will see. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. As always, really appreciate it. And I'll see you for a new video very soon. Bye-bye.